so in the last video we implemented a register endpoint for creating a new user now it's time to implement some new additional endpoints i will be implement two new endpoint which is for the deleting a user or updating a password suppose if user want to delete his account then using that endpoint i will delete the account in if he want to update the password so for the updating the password we will use the update endpoint i already wrote the code to sort this video but i will explain each of this point so this is the code where i left yesterday so now it's time to explain the update endpoint first so let me explain the update endpoint here i am using the user.find1 and update api of the mongoose schema i already created a mongoose schema yesterday if you didn't watch that video please watch it first with help of find1 and update i am updating the user i am sending the additional parameter call username in the url and i am using that additional parameter over here using this find1 and update method i will find the username which is same as the username which we are sending so if we will find that then we will update the password over here because we are sending the password in the body so it will update the user now one additional method is called back after finding a user if we will get a error then i will sending a status code 500 with the error message if we don't get any error then i will send a message called password successfully updated and also a username which we updated on the response data now it's time to test it so i already started the server over here and uh, i am going to show you that what is inside my mongo data so first i started a mongo db daemon then i will hit enter mongo to go inside this mongo cli because of my database is app db so i am using the use app db so so i can get access of my database now i'm using the so collections command to seeing my collection with help of db dot users dot find i will fetch my all data so this is my data let me show this on a pretty format i will use the pretty command that will print the data in a pretty format so this is my data and my password is 123456 and my username is devstack106 so let me test it first and i will use update endpoint which will be routed from the index.js to the user.js so let test it on a postman this is the endpoint we tested yesterday now it's time to test the update endpoint so for that i will hit the endpoint slash update and we will send the username devstack106 on the url so devstack106 and i am and i will access that devstack106 using this parameter okay so we can access the username using request dot params dot username i'm using the patch method over here so let me change the request method as a patch we have to send the password data on a body so let me delete the username and email and i will send the password through the body contain and my password will be 12345678 so this data will be sent using the this endpoint 
so let me just send it and uh, after sending the data we are getting the message that password is successfully updated and username is devstack so it's successfully updated let me check on a mongo cli that our database is reflected or not so my password was 123456 now we can see that our password is 123456789 so it's perfectly updated now we can see that our update endpoint is perfectly working now it's time to explore the delete endpoint i am the same passing the username as a additional parameter on the url and i am using the find one and delete method to delete a user first it will find the username which we are sending on our additional parameter and if it will find on our database then it will delete it we have a additional callback function again which are have a two parameter called error and result so if i will get a error then i will send a status code 500 and message will be error and if it will be successfully deleted from the database then i am sending a message call username deleted or we can send as a user deleted and additionally i am sending the username also so let's check it also on a postman so let me delete this devstack 106 username from the mongodb database so i am using the delete http request over here so let me change the http request over here and we are not sending any body so let me delete it now let's send so i am getting a response that user is deleted and user name is devstack 106 so it's also working fine so let me see inside the mongodb database that it's deleted or not now we can see that our data is now deleted because we don't have any data over here this is the way that we will implement delete and patch request on express.js i already show you that how we will implement the post request so now we seen that how we will implement the post request and patch request and delete request on the express js so only one http request is left called get request if you are interested on this type of video please subscribe my channel in all the related of the express and node js backend development are inside the playlist that block server development using node js and express js The playlist is a subdivision of the main playlist called blog app development from scratch using flutter express js and node js that is the main playlist where i am developing the blog app and i will upload the video related to ui and backend both on that playlist but if you are a backend developer then only wanted to develop a backend server then you can watch the playlist called block server development using express js thank you and happy coding bye